There's been a rise in the number of parents choosing to take their children out of school and educate them at home. Now, uh, Nadia, there's an interview with you today in the Mirror. Yes. Isn't there? Yeah. Because this is exactly what you've done with both your daughters uh -huh. now. Um, what made you decide the first time? Because I spoke about this about a year ago when I first took Kiki B out, my youngest one, and actually now I've taken Maddie out as well, so both of them have been out of school now for a year. Home educated, not, not home schooled, because right. it's nothing like school. Oh, so um, you don't even say home schooling now, you don't No, like I don't that. say home schooling, I say home educating. Um, Oh, God. Why? Well, first of all, I think Mark and I made a big mistake in thinking the very best thing that we could do for our children was work really hard, save lots of money and send them to private school. I regret that. I really, really regret that. It was wrong for Why? my kids. It was very, very academic, um, very hard working. You know, right from six years old, they were coming home with an hour's homework. And then eventually with Maddie, it was two, two and a half hours homework. And one day I just thought, and they were, they were getting really stressed. They were not happy children. They weren't the children that I'd originally sent to school. Now, that school was brilliant for lots of other kids. It just wasn't right for mine. So um, I thought, wow, every day I'm handing over my children to people, a lot of them I don't particularly like, um, and they're now bringing up my children. I just wish there was another way. My daughter's stressed. She's crying all day. She never cries at home. She cries all day at school. What can I do? Initially took her out just while I, so I could try and find another school. Was she she was academically struggling or she just didn't she like was the whole academic school environment? Oh, no, she loved the school environment. She got on with people, socially fine, but just the school environment wasn't right for her. She's... She has, she's partially sighted in one eye. She got behind in the first year and then she couldn't catch up. So, school so was... that school, though, or what about any other school? But there might have been another school that yeah. she would have but been more I comfortable think, in. Like lots of, I didn't want to put her in another private school because I don't think the private system is right for my kids. And then, as a lot of people find, I couldn't get her in any of the schools that I liked in the area. So, and I didn't want to send her to a school I didn't like that I felt really uncomfortable myself as a grown adult walking in. It felt aggressive and weird and didn't want to. So I started off by thinking I would just get her into another school and then it's gone so brilliantly. How the, that what I do you do? What, how, well... I, I, I don't teach her. She goes to... That's good. Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> but what I would say, I have a really... I have a really amazing... It's, it's hard work, that's for sure, because whenever I'm not here, I'm with them 24-7. Because, you know, there's, it's quite nice sometimes saying, waving your kids off. Say, that, that's the thing that put me off. Yeah, so... <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> not saying goodbye. Yeah, yeah so... so um, can it, I ask you also, how is this monitored? How is this monitored? Because, you know, people here who send their kids to school, if, you, if they don't go to school, you've got to ring up and say they're not in today because of X yeah. and mm -hmm. provide you evidence. You just deregister them. You can, right. You just is that it? Yep, yep. Um, you can, and there are lots of uh, people that, whose children have never been to school, so they're not even on the register, so there's actually far more home-educated children. But, uh, but are the authorities not all over you like a rash, saying, are you, doing, sure are you following a curriculum? I, are I you... am in contact with, my, the, with the council that deals with home education because yeah. I want to be. Yeah. So uh, she's helpful. We, I go and meet her every couple of months. We yeah. talk. She gives me advice. But legally, I, you don't, you don't have, have to do that. that. Legally, I do not no. have to do okay, that. OK, so I know Ooh, you really well. Worry. I know that you embrace this wholeheartedly. I know your girls are fantastic. I know that you do proper homeschooling and you make sure that they do. Yeah. But what about the lazy so-and-sos who just can't be bothered to take their kids to school or can't be bothered to educate their children? Are you telling me that they are not monitored by any authority? No. Yeah, I know. It's I find that astonishing. Think about it, but think about it. The schools are packed, aren't they? Why, why yeah. is the government going to force people that want to, to send people to school that they don't want to? Actually, um, it's actually it is actually the parents' responsibility. I, I think it's. The, I, I looked this up actually because I thought I'd impress Jane with this. I've got a figure. 1996 <laughs> Education Act states that it's actually the parents' responsibility to educate their children. So I, I have to prove that I'm educate that my children are getting an education, but they do not have to follow the curriculum. Nobody is obliged. But who are you to proving it to? Yeah. yeah well, you... I do to the the woman that I. See from the but council, and she but knows. You choose to go I and choose to, it to, but that. I don't have to if I don't want yeah, to. It's I my responsibility that. to, to you make sure my children. You don't have children... to conform to the curriculum. So I go, well, what happens when your girls go into the workplace? Okay, you know, they're, so... they're, all, they're all told now, the kids, you know, it's really important about mm. your GCSEs and grades now. Yeah, but so we're if one of them wants that the to only be a way doctor, you can go to you, uni. You have to have those qualifications to get to uni, don't you? Yeah, well, we're led to believe that the only way you can get into university with A levels, we have to, because we can only have one system that fits all, because we've got so many that we've got to educate. It's not actually true. I know lots of home-educated people that have got into universities and colleges on what they on, on their on what interviews they and what they know. And so 
my, my girls are going to do a couple of GCSEs, but they're not going to do 11 because they don't need 11 GCSEs. And I've seen my stepdaughters with but all the stress But they do if they wanted that. to be a doctor. Yeah, but they don't want to be a doctor. Right. Yeah, so if they, they know they want be... to do that, she would you make know, sure. my daughters, there's no way they're going to be doctors. But, but do you think what about social... Kids? Sorry, social yeah. interaction? Social. I mean, they, they socialise. It's like, my, it's like Kiki said. She's oh, it's so nice to choose my friends. I didn't really like any of the ones at school because you get they get to go out every single day. They have more socialising than they did at school because they've chosen their friends. And what about you? Talk about the system. But what about as Ruth said, the system when you get when you want to get a job, there is a system. You have to be there at. 8.30 a.m., you have to do this, that and the other. How are your girls going to react well, to that, having not had that structure in their life up to that point? One of the reasons why a lot, um, a, a lot of universities actually seek out home-educated children is because they are self-motivated. They are already arriving with a, with a strong sense of what they have to do. And, mm. Because my child was like, was like an automaton, you know, what do I do, what do I say, shall I do my homework now, shall I do... And now they, they, they are much more responsible for themselves than they were so when they no were at school. At all. No, no regrets, and they're, and they're going to stay that way. Unless they suddenly say to me they want to go back to school.